the key to getting it right. Now, in, as you know, the principle of the path basically says direction, not intention, determines destination. Okay? And I spent two Sundays talking about this. And basically what we say, it doesn't matter what kind of person you are, it doesn't matter whether you're male or female, young or old, uh, educated, uneducated, rich or poor, if both, if two of you are walking on the same path, it will always lead to a predictable destination. Every path has a destination. It doesn't matter whether you're a believer, non-believer, you are an atheist, you're a Satanist, you are male, female, long hair, no hair, short hair, it doesn't matter. If you're on that path, it will always lead to a predictable destination. No amount of praying, no amount of fasting is going to get you out of that place until you change your direction. You cannot keep on walking down that road and expect to come to a different destination from the person sitting next to you. That's the principle of the path. So, is that now we have all this wisdom, but he never said, you know what God? You've given me so much wisdom already. You don't need to bother with me anymore. You know, you just go ahead and do whatever gods do. Run the world and stuff like that. You don't have to guide me anymore because I have enough wisdom. See? But you know what? He was wise enough to know that all the wisdom in the world was not enough to keep him wise. And so, many, many years later, he gave us this piece of advice. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, he said, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. See, even though he had so much wisdom, he says, you know what? Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. What he's saying here is, what he's, what he's saying here is, don't trust your heart. Trust the Lord with all your heart. But don't trust your heart. That's why this nonsense we hear, follow your heart. That's going to lead you astray. You never follow your heart. Jeremiah said your heart is deceitful. And it's beyond cure. Because if you can follow your heart, you don't need Jesus. You just need your heart. Oh, but Jesus is there, yeah. Many times Jesus is there, but we don't listen to Him. And that's why I love to read the Scriptures. That's why every morning when I wake up, I pray, Lord, let me behold wonders. Let me eat life. Let me munch on your wisdom. And teach me how to submit to it more and more and more. That's the only way that we can keep ourselves from making wrong decisions. It's the only way that we can keep ourselves from being, living independently of Him. By constantly reminding ourselves that we are dirt. That was given life. Solomon moves on and gives a second part of his advice. First he says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. But he continues in the second half and it says, and in all your ways, Acknowledge Him, and He will make your paths straight. 